Okay, so let me step you through our first project that we'll have and also show you some of the more advanced techniques you can do with the text. Whenever you need to edit text, always remember that you're using the text tool to make selections and make changes to any type of uh, typography that's on your page. To uh, affect something, remember you always have to select it. And by selecting it, I mean you need to highlight the text that you want to be affected. Anything else that's unhighlighted will not be affected. And read each paragraph carefully to determine exactly what type of style changing changes you need to have. Let's take this first one. Set this type to be centered on the top of the page using the font Eurostyle, 20 point size, and 18 point leading. So the first thing to do is to center the text. So with my text highlighted, you see it's highlighted in blue, I'm going to go down to my measurements palette and it's located the center, the alignment is this one right here. So I'm going to click on center. And you can see automatically it's centered to my page. Next I'm going to change my font to Euro style. Let's see if I have Euro style on my computer. I'm going to click the down arrow and you can see they're all in alphabetical order and here is Euro style. I'm going to click on that and you can see my font style is now changed. Additionally, I want to change it to 20 point size. And this is my point size. I can click down. And you can see I've got some ones created, but I don't have 20 points. So I'm going to type in 20 point and hit return. And now you see it's made my font size a little bit bigger. And finally, we have 18 point letting. Letting is the distance between two lines of text. Right now you see there's a little bit of gap between this first line and the second line. That's because there's a certain point of letting in between it. Now in Cork Express it'll automatically add letting based on the size of your point. So right now we have it at 20 point. So there's probably about 20 even though right now it says auto, A-U-T-O. But I can type in any number and increase it. So let me type in, let's say a big number like 40. 40 point. Now when I go up here you can see that my the distance between the first and second line has been greatly increased. It's been doubled as a matter of fact. That's because now there's 40 points in between the first line and the top of the second line. If I was to decrease it something drastic, let's say 5 point. Now if I go back up here you can see that my type is almost on top of each other. That's because there's only five points, a very very small bit between the top of the first line and the second line. But it wants me to have 20 points so I'm going to highlight it and type in 20 and there we have 20 point, I'm sorry 18 point, 18 point typed in. So very very close, very very narrow margin. And that's how you change the letting inside of your, uh, your document. You'll continue along and do the rest of the alignment and the fonts and the point sizes and the letting uh, throughout the rest of this uh, document. I do want to point out one more and that's the tracking inside of a, what you have selected. Whenever you want to change tracking, what you're adjusting is the amount of space that's in between each set of uh, letters. So instead of the amount of space between lines of type, let's say I wanted to spread out all of these letters a certain distance. Right now my tracking is set to zero and that's usually the default. But if I wanted to increase the amount of space, let's type in say 10 point. Now when I go back up you can see my text has been spread out a good bit. There's actually a little bit of space in between every letter that's up here. Let's do something drastic to see what it would look like. Let's type in say 60 point. And automatically you see it's really really spread out. It's actually taking up more than just the regular two lines that we initially had. If I made it smaller, let's say, let's give it a negative number, let's say negative 20 you can see all my uh, fonts and all my little characters start running into each other because it's actually removing space in between the two sides. In general you want to keep your tracking at zero but sometimes you'll want to spread it out or make it smaller or uh, closer together. One such time you'll be adjusting the tracking I see is in this paragraph right here.
you'll change it to 50 point tracking and that'll depend on everything else that you uh, change up but just to review these icons right here are your alignment so your left center and right alignment you adjust your font by choosing the down arrow and then choosing your font from a list Additionally, you can change the size of your font from here by choosing a pre-assigned size or by typing in the size that you want. You can also adjust if something is bold, italicized, or has a special type of um, font uh, characterization to it from under here. Be familiar with some of these as you'll be using some more often than others.